to be using map box to create 3D terrain and also represent building mass. So to do this, we can go in and, and we can click on buildings and we can select 3D buildings. Now this can take quite a while for it to actually load. Um, to see, to go into 3D mode, hold control and drag with your mouse and we'll see the map go into a different orientation so that once the 3D scapes load, they should show up. Um, to edit the layer, I might just eject the layer, eject, and now we can see it in here in the layer. Um, we can, okay. So for the starter to show up, you have to be relatively zoomed in, otherwise the map would be looking crazy. So let's just go ahead and do that and we can see all of the houses there. Um, we can also, let's go to an area over here so we can see the different heights of the buildings. We can change the opacity of the buildings. So now they're no longer transparent. We can change the color. Um, which is really quite useful. You can even add a pattern onto them. So now let's turn on 3D terrain. So to do this, in the top bar, we've got the 3D terrain paddle. We just go and switch this on. This is just gonna take a bit to load. So we are in San Francisco on the map at the moment, which is known for being quite hilly. So let's just have a look around. Just toggling on the map. So we can see all the hills there. Um, with the terrain thing, you can also uh, turn the exaggeration up as well. There we go. Um, so you can see we've made it look ridiculous now, but that's just one way you can manipulate the 3D terrain. Yeah, and we can see our nice little hills there and all of our uh, building mass, which is very useful.